Hi, this is MC Bling Daddy, and I hope to be starting a series of explorations of coding in Minecraft using Command Box. And let's get started in this pre demonstration where we set up our user interface. I'll have a few more comments to add to this later, but Let's start off by creating a new world we'll call CBC world for command block coding. And we are going to set up our user interface in creative mode because it's only in creative mode that you can get and code or program command blocks. And some additional wor uh, world options that we'll need are to allow cheats on because that's how you get command blocks and also how you do some other things we'll need to do uh, while we're coding <clears throat> so there may be some other things that you'll want to change uh, we'll discuss them in a bit while the world is loading I'll simply state that I'm hoping the viewer already has some experience with commands in Minecraft and we will be exploring how to use them in command blocks as a programming language like you might uh, use with C Sharp or Java. And before we go anywhere else, I also want to set up the game rule, do daylight cycle to be faults because I like to operate in the daylight and by the way to get to that I assume you know that you press escape to get to the command line interface okay I also want to go to 0 0 because the command the coordinates are a little bit easier to understand there so <clears throat> I want to come in at a high elevation so that because this is creative mode I drop down to a level that um, I'm on rather than in and here we are okay so let's see which way are we facing um, this is south good because the intent to demonstrate the language, uh, the command block language, is to create a railway and we'll be heading it south towards positive Z so that we can use uh, increments, uh, positive increments, in our commands. Now, to set, finalize our user interface, we need to go into our inventory. We can press D to do that. We'll need a few things here in the way of redstone. Let's see. Uh, we'll need redstone repeater, uh, redstone comparator, <coughs> uh, redstone torch, some redstone, and although they are not easily used in creative mode, We'll take a few buttons and we'll see why we need to have many of them when we get to using them. I won't be using them very often though. And finally, we would like to have some dirt just kind of as a construction tool. <clears throat> and then finally, we'll need to give ourselves a command block to get set up. Okay, we're just about ready to go and this is the end of the setup for the user interface and we'll start doing some coding next time. Thanks for watching.